I don't know how much I believe everybody. I think Zelda's. I think Zelda works. She's a. Just. She works. I don't know. She's got a lot of things about her that I like, and Spork is a lot more stylish with this play than I do. He's got a lot more. Cre he's a lot more creative with the Zelda than I am, and just being across the board, just a more sound player. So you can see a lot more interesting yep. Zelda play than I get to provide. All right. Here we go. Probably not going to see much in the way of L fires just because I call Dins Fire L fire. I'm in a fire bomb kind of mood, I suppose. <laughs> Ow. DK fire, baby. Ooh. Oh. Okay. That was an interesting setup there. It's a very versatile move. It can do. It covers about as many angles as a projectile possibly could. Right. It's got a lot of weird properties depending on where it hits you as well. Like, here, just touch you with the tail, just like, ah, here, just, oh, okay. no. That's going to be a punish. Probably a smaller punch than we could have gotten. Oh, good parry on the wake up. Yeah, you can move, you can mix up your movement a lot Ooh, with... Ooh, that's one way to stop this. What has happened? Okay, they've decided to trade. They both died. Yeah. Wasn't enough to save Ness, but it was enough to kill Zelda. Oh, got re gets reflected on the PK. Oh, yeah. Um, Deflect PK throw into F-Air. PK Magnet back here. absorbs the fire attack, It right? absorbs the fire, Yeah. and he can use it as a tool to mix up his movement options right. and to put on pressure. It can't do much. Oh, oh good, good snipe spike. with the down air. It can't really do much about, it can't do anything about Phantom, really. So Phantom's yeah, yeah, a good yeah. way of covering a lot of Ness's approach options he likes to do that can, a lot of other characters can't contest as well. If Phantom gets set up, Phantom can deal with that pretty well. Right. Uh, Zelda also gets the advantage of being able to cover some of his other approach options, like when he tries to get in with PK Fire. She can sort of shut that down. But when it comes to boxing, uh, Ness is clearly the stronger of the two at very at a very close range. Right. Has there a much you, stronger yeah. combo game in general. So Zelda needs to make a lot of very apt, correct decisions when Ness is nearby wants to get some stuff started. Excellent parry. He's got a lot of stuff working with the parries that we've seen earlier. We saw one example where Spork was parrying the get-up attack. Is, and so Spork is here to play. We need to be making a lot of very clean, simple decisions oh like that. Oh my gosh. Not going to kill. That'd be, that'd be a three-stock. Although it's uh, not a three-stock because we lost one no, in the, right, in right. the realm it. of in like the, mere pixels double. above the bottom. Yeah, left. the double so. KO. That's right. I got hungry. Is it weird to anyone else that the Phantom is clearly Phantom Hourglass, but Zelda is clearly based on A Link to the Past? Um, I mean, sure. It's just I think they figured they'd put all the Zelda stuff together. And then the Zelda in Smash 4, where she got Phantom in the first place, was based off of Twilight Princess, which is none of those are even in the same timeline as Spirit Tracks. I mean, uh, Phantom Hourglass. You should definitely message Sakurai. I'm sure he's very, he'll be very worried about this news. I, I think it slipped. I think they managed to slip it past him. You're right, Kevin. We need to get on Sakurai right now. Dash attacks are working out. Dash attack beats out the Nehru's love. Very surprising. That was the get up attack, so there was a bit of invincibility to it. There was, um, there was the invincibility, but more I'm so wondering if expecting. it's a timing thing. Could have done the. Maybe if it was delayed. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, Nehru's love has a chunk of invincibility. Right. I don't know the exact frame date on it. I have a good with punish with the forward smash. Not going to get it twice, though. Oh, gets hit with the up B. I, I'm always a big fan of the cheeky. How am I go How is Zelda going uh -oh. to get back to the stage? She's going to land on you uh -oh. with the, oh, oh, no. Oh, we are playing Super Smash Brothers Melee. Wow. It's beautiful. I love this stage. Put him in the corner for that. Mark loves this stage, too, and you can see why. Yeah, not again. Oh, yeah, this is death. Goodbye. Oh, gets. He's very on point with the PK with the uh, the down uh, oh, the down it. airs on the edge guard. Oh my it's, gosh, that went through the tree. The sword reached through the tree, but the body did not. It's just a big sword, you know. Uh oh. Oh. It's a grab again. Man, Spork is on point with all this it, it hits. Yeah, I think he's also been showing a lot of people lacking the knowledge on. DIing off of Zelda's uh -oh. throws. He's getting oh a lot of throw gosh, combos into the lightning kicks. Sniped with the, the fire. It's a very, it's very powerful if you're off stage. Fire has its usage, but... And this is obviously not going to want to try and reflect it from over there. Yeah, but you could have tried an absorption, right? Well, but I mean, if you absorb it over there, you're not going to have a very good easy time down, getting yeah. back onto stage at that point. 
close your momentum. Kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Yeah. Well, oh, the windmill! What a champ! Oh, that's gonna be very alive for Ness. It's interesting Vosser decided to stick with uh, Ness in this matchup. I mean, if he, when in doubt, when it gets something confusing, st sticking with something you know can be a really good option. Right. You know, it's just, I know he's got some other characters, but he, he, I mean, it is one of those things where I stick with characters even on certain matchups. So and this is semifinals, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Ryder okay. dying on Ness, and he's got. I'm not gonna say it's impossible. You just need to make Definitely. about 20 perfect decisions in a row. Oh, not again. You need to not get hit ever, but. That's a good way to start, but Zelda's very good at being able to stop people's momentum with moves, specifically her neutral B is very good. Like, hey, is, does your combo have any gaps? I can pretty much cut it to a halt. If your character really wants to have a lot of momentum going, Zelda can be, can be baited and punished for it, but she's very, very good at disrupting momentum. Nice back kick. Okay. You kill off this next hit. No. Nope. All right. That's okay. Close, but we're now to about. Okay. Good. Good. We've tack. got about twelve more completely correct decisions we're going to need to make in a row if we're going to make this comeback. Okay. Oh, tried to wait. Tried to wait out the Nehru's love, but didn't. Even then, just because how active that move is. Man. Oof. Or. Yeah. Oh, Falls into that trap. That's why Zelda's great. I love that character. I'll do it. She's a princess. True.